being 732. Phil, are you ready? Being 732, I'm going to open this meeting of the CPC. Remind everyone this is, meeting is being recorded. Danielle, what, do we, what can we do right away? 197 Main? Yes, why don't we start with 197 Main? All right. So I gather they're looking at doing what, 30? Is it 30 feet? 30 by something? Danielle, they're, they're muted. Up there. That's the computer. That's my computer or is that the phone? I think the room 14 is the phone. No, that's that computer. That one should be muted. Over there? Because that's just for the video. Okay. Um, oh, it's that. I mean, I'm saying that somewhere. The Realtek audio is at zero, I think. What is it? This one here? I just put that down because of the echo. Rusty, say something. I can hear noise. See, I think you need to be muted. Don't I just be unmuted? No, you need to be muted. Okay. But you can unmute Trina. I don't know if I need to unmute Trina. I need 
turn. Rusty's not muted. I hear so. I heard somebody. Yeah. So I, we can hear them, but I don't know. Hey. Hey. Maybe that's why she was muted. Can you see them? I can see them on. Okay, they're both muted now. Um, okay. Can I, Rusty, can you hear me? Now they can hear you. difficulties you can hear me rusty I think we can hear him yeah, now. Can, hear him yeah. can he still hear us? No. Okay. This has to be. Rusty, can you hear us? He's away from his phone now. He's away from oh. phone. Try Trina. Trina, oh, she's muted. I'm just wondering if it's getting through here. It, yeah, those are the microphones for uh, for us. So this is supposed to be muted. Yes. Because it's, I have to, I can only do it with that phone, right? This is how anyone at home is hearing the audio. Right. Well, um, how anyone at home is hearing it through Norcam, the mic is right up to that. So yeah, but how people are zooming into it, that's how they hear you in the room. Yeah. Okay. So this should be muted. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. All right. Rusty, are you able to hear us? I don't think so. <laughs> Because he just walked away. <laughs> you can also chat. <laughs> you don't have to be a chat at that moment. He's back. Chat with him now. He's looking at his computer. Can you hear us? Can, can 
you hear us now, Rusty? Yes. Thank you. We were real technical difficulties. Someone Sorry about that. Okay. Here we are. Um, so, Rusty, the, the CPC members have your plans that you submitted to show the outdoor storage area. I was just giving them a little introduction. Do you want to talk a little bit about what you'd like to do? Yes. Can you yes. hear me? Okay. So basically, um, if you look at that plan, You were echoing for a minute, but go ahead. Yes, it was echoing. Can you hear us still? Can you hear us? No, he can hear us, but we can't hear him. He, I can hear him. He's just, it's just really loud. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to lock the door. Sorry. Sorry. Right. See if you can drive that up the other way. I was wondering if this needs to be muted and not turn right up. Oh yeah, the lap, your laptop? Uh, probably. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm muting the laptop and I'm going to turn that way up. Okay, Rusty, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Alright, good. We can just have a, we have a little lag, that's all. Yes. yes. Alright, awesome. I, I can't really see the board with up there, but I'm going to take it up one of my plans. There's two plans that we put together for me. One of them, was um, an overview of the whole of the entire property site plan, and the other one kind of blew up the area that I'm looking for the special permit for. So one of my tenants, Will Shore Enhancement, a landscaping company, um, wanted to do some outdoor storage. And it's right adjacent to the dumpster. Um, and you can see, I sent some pictures, and you can see what Luke threw it out there. Um, and that's really about it. They have um, a truck, a trailer, and some cows with leftover papers and stuff from other projects. Um, and that's, that's really about it. Um, there's a natural buffer uh, between the and house that Chris built. I'm not sure what the, uh, who owns it right now, but they work, they work in my property all the time, those big high and stuff like that. Uh, but it's got a, a real, it, it, I don't know if you have the pictures behind you on there, but it's a very high natural buffer um, made up of evergreens and trees. And, and I went there the other day and I measured from the property line, which is up at the top of the hill. And then there's a steep decline. The, the natural buffer is all within there. I, I couldn't even see my, my property almost from when I was standing on the property line looking down. Um, and uh, it's 25 feet to the front of the natural buffer, and then from there, it's a good, whatever that distance is, we're to the first way we're looking to get special permit for storage. And that's it. <clears throat> so, Rusty, that area, this is Chris Hayden, that area is 30 feet deep. How okay. wide is that? Do you know? I'm looking at his red tri or his red rectangle here. Like yes, it's, it's um, within the 30 feet of the uh, residential A. It goes into residential A no more than 30 feet. Okay. Anybody have a question, Warren? Yeah, so, wait. Uh, yeah, this is Jeremiah. In the in the picture that we're looking at, so uh, where the dumpsters are, and then there's the truck behind it. So that's essentially the spot that you're talking about, right? Where the yeah. trucks are. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay. 
my concern looking at the picture with the the uh, truck trailer and then the material that's stored there is you yeah. know this is kind of behind everything um, and I'm you know just worry about the security for that stuff you know the people probably can't see it because I mean during the summertime there's plenty of buffer I don't know what the wintertime buffer is or is there a is there a six-foot fence around the property or just partially around the yeah, I could um, yes the entire property it's, it's covered with a fence, except the way the natural buffer zone is. That's, I don't have a fence at the top of that hill. Right. But there is a fence around the, the entire property, all the way to the front, to Main Street. Okay. So, Passion's building there. You know, I don't, I don't know what the other people's thought is, but um, just worried about someone backing up a vehicle to that area and putting those pots and things right near cars because they, they're very visible. If you're in that back parking lot, you f I don't know if you follow what I mean. Um, so you worry about people uh, stealing the stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's Katrina, but she wants to put a fence there or whatever she could, but I don't think it's really of anything that, of any. Any value, really? I, mean, I don't know. I'd leave that to Katrina to, to say. But um, I mean, I have I have my uh, I have a, a wood splitter back there, gas power. I never really had any issues. I got surveillance cameras all over the building, um, and uh, I have some trucks there, but I let the guys take them home most of the time. Okay. I mean, if she, if she was concerned about. Um, it being stolen, then I would say she would have to put a fence up or something and lock it. But Katrina, what's your feeling on that? Um, with all the security, I'm not really concerned about it. I never had to with there. Uh, I, I don't see an issue security okay. there. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's another thing that I wanted to let you guys know is uh, um, Greg got a call, the town actually got a call that there was uh, some noise going on there um, and that's what brought uh, Greg there, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry there to um, Jerry see what was going on that's when he saw North Shore uh, Enhancement's truck there. I didn't realize that we needed a special permit because I thought that as long as she was a tenant in the building, um, we could do outdoor storage, but, um, and then she filed with the town her paperwork to do business within the town, and then we're going through this process now. But I did go into my surveillance cameras and I found out that Andrew's dumpster was getting dumped at 4.37 a.m. <laughs> and I sent that to Jerry. Um, so, uh, immediately went there, and um, Yanni immediately called the dumpster people at 8 o'clock now. Okay. 8 9. Uh, Monday mornings. It was every Monday that we're doing that. So that that put a halt to that pretty quick. Well, that's good because seven o'clock is like the time we we kind of tell everybody that they should be, you know, no earlier than seven for dumping dumpsters. As a matter of fact, right. if you went over to the uh, yeah to the CVS and you drove between the CVS and the the little strip mall there they've got big signs that say no dumpster picking between such and such a time and that's the, for the drivers to see so they don't they know there's an ordinance yep. in town for for noise so well it's good that you took care of that is there anything else yeah Jeremiah? immediately <laughs> i mean my thought being that i, I mean this seems good. like an uh, attempt to kind of clean up the space and keep it organized and look better than the, you know, as long as they keep it within that area yeah. and that's that's one thing for the fences you know where things yeah. are if you had some Maybe. something there to, to at least so they knew where to be and i think that in the you know as you said earlier i mean we're looking at summertime foliage here so in yeah. the winter time that might not be as much a buffer than we'd be think, really concerned though there are some there are evergreen trees but if there. it is less of a buffer even in the winter time yeah. more incentive to have it be an organized yeah. space I yeah. agree. I mm -hmm. Warren you have any questions uh, just a 
the area looks a little small for all of the it's all right, so the storage is going to stay inside that box that's what it looks like here yeah but if you read all the things that go in there and you know yeah. we consider that a even a small dump truck is good eight feet wide you know how many how much stuff can you get into that area and still access it right it's not a lot it's not a lot of space there they so got two trailers there now and a dump truck and a couple pall pallets of stuff in so that in that boxed in area i don't know if it's in that the the red air the red boxed in area i don't know if it's within that area that's the well that, that's why the i think the question about a fence came up is because a fence would define that area right where they where whether should they be. park the trucks and the trailers any place else you know they're not really an issue but right the storage of materials could uh, could spread out rather quickly from exactly. a small area to encompass a large area. I mean, the truck could actually be parked on the asphalt. Yeah. yeah. Back there. Yeah. That that would be because this is an, a use. So at least a couple of sides, fenced a couple sides, would give it. You know, some would define like the a, area. A, a, a three-sided fence with yeah, nothing, would, no would, gates would, in it. Would define the area, you know, and I, I think that's probably. Do you understand what we're talking about, Rusty? Yeah. Sure. So what the, I'll do is um, I can have a because that's a steep hill. Um, going up at the back of that. Yep. Um, I can have a fence go from like, like you said, 30 feet out, straight out to the end. And this, like you said, it defines the area. And um, it'll be, and then we know that, because you know what happens is just by creeping out the storage. And yeah, I have no problem with that. I can have a fence put up there. Yeah, just, it, it defines where they can store stuff. Yeah. And it keeps it confined to that area. So if someone, the neighbor complains, hey, there's stuff all over the place. And the building inspector goes over there, but right. all the stuff is within that area. Yeah. Then you're okay. You got it. And he has some. He has a leg to stand on. Okay. It helps him out. It helps us out. Danielle, did you have any yeah. comments? I can do that. No, my only comment, just um, you know, if, if the site plan review is you know granted in terms of the money, minor modifications, I think they still do need the special use permit for landscaping from the CBA. So that would be, you know, I would probably. Right. Okay, but yeah, this gives them the minor modification to the site plan, but they still have to get a special permit because that's not an allowed use within. It's a special permit use. Yeah, it's a special permit use. Okay. All right, so are there any other questions, Warren? No. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah? All right. Mm -hmm. If Read not, motion. please. I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to grant the requested minor modification and improve the plans entitled As Built Plan 197 Main Street, North Reading, Massachusetts, Assessor's Map 26, Parcel 20, dated October 11, 2010, drawn by O'Neill Associates and all subsequent approvals. I'll second it. A motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three in favor and David and Uri. Jeremiah. No, Jeremiah is here. <laughs> <laughs> we have two absentees. Tonight. Oh, I thought okay. you were counting the people that were here. No, 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 no. <laughs> David's not here. Yeah, David's not here. <coughs> so, so that's so. Now you've got to go for your special permit for use, Rusty. That would be you. That would be uh, Trina, I guess. ZBA. With the ZBA. Okay, but you're, it, it's better that this is done before you see them. All right. Thank you. All right, so. Ooh. All right. Was that Trina wanted to say something? Did you want to say something, Trina? I was uh, cutting out. Everything here. She she's yeah. cutting off. She's got. Oh, she's cutting off. Okay. Yeah. I can get you the copy. I still didn't understand her. Can you understand her, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um. All right. Well, she can call and talk to you tomorrow about it if she needs to. Yeah, unless she'd like to put something in the chat. Okay. Um, so Trina, if you could, you want to, if you have a question that we could answer tonight 
you can chat it to Danielle because we're you're cutting out on this. We're only catching part of what you're saying because you're the only one on. I mean, I'm not on the, the call. And then we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, Katrina, you're cutting in and out, so I can give you Danielle's number and you can just call her if you had a question. Oh, okay. Okay? All right. Okay. All right. Thank Great. you very much. Thanks, Rusty. Thank you. You have right. a good day. Thank you, Danielle. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. One, one words work fine <laughs> with her. Her single words, we could understand them. All right, so we're going to go to um, 250 Haverhill Street. Is there anybody out there waiting for this? I don't see anyone in the waiting room. I think there's no one there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, finally. <laughs> Sorry for the. Sorry for the. the Sorry. Right. You folks are here for? 250. 250? 250 okay. And okay. Yeah. So we're up to that right now. Perfect. You could, you could sit right up at the, the <laughs> table there if you'd like. A couple of years ago, we. Uh, oh, it's your name? Dave Essie. How do you spell your last name? How do you, how do you last name for? E-S-T-E-S. -E 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 -S. I'm sorry, E-S-T-E? E-S-T-E-S. -E -S. Thank you. Just got to get that right in a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, we, uh, we approached the board for, to uh, make 250 and 250 rare private way. And at the time, it was a couple of years ago, there were a couple of members of the board that felt that we didn't have a wide enough driveway, mm -hmm. which was, I think, 16 feet or so. We had some issues with um, some wetland issues that we've resolved since then. We've also increased the driveway. I've noticed that. The other, com yeah, it's great. So yeah. much better. The other concern was having two 10 foot driveways for each, for Barbara and myself. Okay. We both live in one. Right. As you come up, Bob's on the left and on the right. So we're back here again open to get the private away, essentially. Okay. That's why we're here. So, Danielle, I know you wrote a memo on this. Yeah, um, just, I, I spoke with the assessor. Um, if, if you do want to, you know, create this as a, a new private way with a name that she would be able to give an address to, it would need to be shown as it's parcel and be really clear about how it was deeded, like 50% to each property. I think doing it as an easement like this wouldn't necessarily be enough for her to give it a street address. A street address. They so they need to do some, they need to do more. I, I think so. I didn't want to to go making changes to the plan until we knew, you know, whether this is something you would be inclined to support. Right, right, right. So we're just, we're just here to, to listen to this and see what we're thinking. I mean, essentially last time it was pretty much no, now we're at this point. Well, you've, now you've done some you've done some yeah, work exactly. on the ground exactly. to make it wider. You've got a ten foot right. You've got ten foot on either side of the road, and there's no divider in that driveway, correct? No. So it's just it's just needing the right side to it's essentially eight inches. Yeah, for twenty feet, eight inches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I saw that. No, I saw that in the plan. <laughs> Jeremiah, did you see the driveway at all? I showed you a couple. Of uh, I've just seen the, what we've got in the in the meeting materials, but just watch the wires out there. There's lots of them these days. <laughs> so this is the before. This is the after. Okay. So R is on the left. Two fifty R. Correct. Right. On the right side. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And all right. And you want to rename that? Bring that into a uh, a private way. Correct. Okay. We have to run. Go ahead, Mr. Spears. You, you, have a, um, you have enough room there to create it as a separate parcel, right? I mean, you, you have enough square footage in that lot, in those two lots. What is it? 
How, how, ma how much square footage is in each one of the two lots? Uh, 2.75 acres. Yeah, that's what I thought. So there's tons of room. So yeah. essentially, if you're going to do it, um, probably, correct me if I'm wrong, Danielle, they're just going to bring a plan and showing it, but I would, it's going to show some kind of a turnaround at the end, too. So that, because um, um, we have a couple, like there's one off of Linwood that's got probably the smallest cul-de-sac I've ever seen, and yet it's a private way, and that's, you know, how it is. Well, we do have a turnaround. Yeah. So as long as you had up, up the plan shows a, an acceptable a turnaround that, for example, a fire truck could turn around in, yeah. and um, enough width and everything, I suppose if you submitted a plan, I yeah. would. I mean, I would we've had, uh, unfortunately for me, I've had several fire trucks and EMS folks up in my house. <laughs> and they get in and out without a problem. Yeah, so. Absolutely, yes. So, yeah, so I would say. And I have, my, my brother's disabled also, right. as I mentioned. I, I can't. You know, so you're, you're not playing games. you got to make sure you've got access. No. Yeah. My wife had some mental issues, unfortunately. Uh, she's fine now. But I must have had North Reading Fire Department up there several times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you so do have it. There is a turnaround. You can see it on the septic plan. Yeah. If you look at the septic plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Is basically, as long as you have those basic items and everything, I don't see right. any reason why you couldn't uh, right. make and it I a private way. And I think what Danielle is saying, is you, you just got to make it a... It has to be its own parcel. So that yeah, you got to make their own right. parcels right. out of it. And then you could give easements, right. like for the circle, you're going to cut the circle in half, but you want everybody to be able to use that that comes up there. So you gotta give your you know, the, the neighbor the easement to allow them to, to turn around there and th things like that. Yeah, it's a little bit of an unusual situation in yeah. a way, but but I don't but um, I, I I don't I don't have a problem I, with it. Me either. I mean I think that it's you know it really doesn't really matter. Um, it, it, it's just a some paperwork, you know. Yeah, just have if you don't have if you don't have trouble with it now, you wouldn't have trouble with it later. It's just so everybody can cross and recross. And yeah. The fire department doesn't matter because they're gonna cross on it anyway. Yeah, exactly. They 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 don't they don't worry about those things. If you get a, a paved area, they're gonna drive on it because they have to. Right. Their emergency, they they get to go by all those rules. And you know, um, that's something Luke Boy, who we, we use Luke Boy, so he'll yeah. he can help us. He can help you with yeah, that. Yeah. So if you draw the, draw the plan, show the show the um, show it, and then. Uh, um, both of you would have uh, rights to it, so that's going to have to be in the in the uh, in the paperwork showing that both of you have rights to this <coughs> this piece of which is now an independent piece of land, but you both have right of ways on it, rights on, on it. So, and, and that, I think that's the one off of Linwood Ave. I can't remember the name of the street right off, but that's the way they did. You know which one I mean? I do. I right, uh, right now we we have an easement to go up the driveway. Right. Yeah. So I'm just thinking now how far up that goes at this point. Well, well you, when when you uh, when you make it a separate piece of land, it's a whole new deed, it's a whole new situation. So it becomes a separate piece of land with you two having rights to it, rights to pass and repass and so forth. And, and yeah. you know, who's your uh, who's you going to use for an engineer? Luke. Pardon? Yeah. Yeah. Luke. 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 Okay. Yeah. Luke so right. Luke knows, he, he knows what to do. He knows what to do with it. Throw it up. And then there's a little bit of legal paperwork, and you'll be good. And this is a, I think this is one chance that you guys get to name the road, but. Well, it's a private road because uh, the one off of Linwood Avenue, which is my example, it, they, they chose their name. name for that road. Right, so right. Because but it was you've got to run that road. by the fire department and the police department to make sure they have yeah, no. I can do, too. You can yeah. do that for yeah, them. Yeah, if you have a name. That yeah, you, you want bring it in. I'll, I'll make sure they're okay with Right. It not yeah, I think you did already the last time you ran the name. Do you remember what that name was? Was Just, um, yeah, just make sure it works in town. Yeah. yeah, just to be sure there hasn't been some other streets in the last couple of years that yeah. right. confusing and it would sound similar. Don't, I don't recall any, but you never know. And you'll be surprised you get terrorists, all the same names in these other towns. I don't know how the, I have trouble getting to those houses because, oh my God, all the names are the same. Yeah. I don't know how the fire department and police department get there. But they seem to in other towns, but just make it easier for them here. Especially if you have a, you know, you're kind of a frequent flyer for them coming up there. They'll know where you are anyways. Yeah, no, they, yeah. They'll probably, they'll probably yeah. continue to use your old address. Exactly. <laughs> now they can see where they're going. And actually yeah, it's a, ni it's, a ni it's a nice improvement that you did yeah. there. Yeah. Nice improvement. Okay. And then the other nice thing is that, is that I struggle a lot is the mail. You know, 250 rear thing. 
I grew up at 214 Rear Highland Road. Mm -hmm. My grandparents lived in a front house at 214, so I understand. You know, I get certain people's mail all the time. Yes, <laughs> it's a real pain, isn't it? You can like, put it in the other box? Yeah, oh yeah. well, I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> This will take care of that. Get your own address. Okay. All right. So, you've got your your yeah, I can talk with Danielle when you when I when. Yeah, I'm sure Luke just tell send Luke her right, and and they'll get it figured out, do all the paperwork, and then you come back to us. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I didn't have to do that on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so much better. It's, it's, it is easy to do. She warned me. She's better off to come in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yep. You're welcome. Take care. Have a nice night. All right. What else you got, Danielle? Um, just in terms of if you want to make a recommendation on the town meeting board. Oh, right. Right. I think the other night when they were, <coughs> when Leanne brought it up, I thought we, everybody was here, Warren was not, but we kind of all agreed that we, that was an okay thing. I think that's when I was on the Zoom end of it. But oh, yeah, you so were on the Zoom, that's right. Yeah. So, I, you know, I mean, you see what that is, Warren? Um, it's those pieces of property that. Yep. Yeah. They that want to, they want to spend money on getting the engineering and the uh, where the wetlands are flagged, so we know what's exactly on the ground there. The, the concern about the habitat for humanity, right? Yeah, about them and anybody else anybody. that anybody that we we transfer that property to to do that same thing with. <coughs> well, I don't know. I pardon. I I think they're okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think anything that <coughs> creates the clarity yes. to resolve those yeah. issues is, uh, I mean, it's a minor yeah. investment in that regard. So, I'm, I'm off, you know, <coughs> that, that's, you know, it's out of our hands anyways. It's, it's really, uh, it's really a, the select board's call on this. But yeah, I mean, I'll support them on this because it, it's going to, the, the, the react, <coughs> the, the answers that come back on this, don't negate it from being an affordable housing lot overlay. It just lets well, anybody if they, that's if they do this, will they then <coughs> if they do this, will they then try to sell it as opposed to leaving it in the overlay district? No, I think it's going to. It's they're not. It's not to try to take these parcels out of the overlay district. No, oh, no, it's no. just try to making sure anybody that comes in gets that information up front. And it's not gonna, it's gonna be done once, and it's not gonna be updated. <laughs> but if someone came in, say Habitat for Humanities came yep. in and they wanted the, the parcel on St. Teresa Street, mm -hmm. right? Yep. They can get this report, and they have that in hand. It's something, just for the record, it's something they would have to do, even if they started right. out with that way. Exactly. So there's really, you know, it's like, what's the, I know, it'd be, it's a little bit of a cart before the, the horse. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's for the select board their knowledge yeah and it makes them feel more comfortable there, there was clearly a very voiced concern on this topic right, right? and it makes sense that right. everybody does their due diligence to make sure that and those concerns that, are that's why I support this and you know like to all be on the same page and right. this is really just clarifying mm -hmm. what it is and how it can be used right mm -hmm. yep so shall we support this well yeah I, I mean I, I mean if it get it moves us in the right direction so okay. why not Mm -hmm. So I, why don't we <coughs> do that, Danielle? Sure. So do we have to make I, a vote? I think maybe I'll make a motion on the fly for you. Yeah, then. go ahead. Um, if you want to move to... Yeah. Um, Jeremiah can move it. Um, yeah, okay. Then uh, move to support uh, the warrant article. Oh, I don't know what article it is yet. Do I? Um, article 14. Article 14 um, to uh, support wetlands delineation and engineering work. Uh, <coughs> So, so moved. So moved. Yeah. yeah. Second. Yeah. 
I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing that, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so we support it. So it'll go. Debbie knows the code. You're also the co-sponsor, so <laughs> yeah. I just, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> but now you support it, too, so. Okay. Thank you. Great. You're welcome. It's great. That ZBA for 25 Maple Street? Yes. What is, what is that? Uh, other so than Mr. Smith and... The, it hasn't come in yet to us, but Maple's, Maple Road is um, unaccepted, so um, this is a property that would need to go through the unaccepted ways bylaw um, for adequacy of access. Um, this is very similar to 20 Maple, which we did a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so as it stands right now, um, I, from my understanding, Mr. Smith has made an application for a building permit that's been denied because he has not gone through the um, the process for determination of access yet. Okay. So the building inspector will not issue the permit. So that's what he's appealing that decision to the ZBA. So um, I know the separate lot exemption is mentioned there. This is a lot that's large enough and would have enough frontage to be conforming. So um, any status as a pre-existing non-conforming lot, I mean, I really think that's in dispute it's just the adequacy of access question. And this is another lot that was shown on the old, um, uh, say the same subdivision plan as the other one, the Parkside Little right. um, plan. So we do have a plan on record that shows a 12 foot wide right of way, subdivision way. Um, so I, you know, um, that's, that's really the background on this. Um, okay. That's real hard to pass two cars on the 12 foot wide road. <coughs> That's okay. <laughs> you know, safety is the issue here. And, yeah. And, and safety seems to be kicked aside. That's right. When we run into these. And Nothing's it's happened down there yet. So when something happens down there, yeah. the people down there are going to start screaming. Yeah. So, yeah. so if it ever makes it to you, you can ask for a roadway hasn't made it to you yet, so. Right. Yeah. All right. I just, it was there. I just, and, and all that was in there was that, right. that date. Mm -hmm. Are we going to meet before that? Um, there, that's September 15th. 15th. No. See, that's the problem. Well, we can't have, we can't look at the real thing. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it, okay. I mean, there's probably a violation. Not a violation. Uh, there was probably a uh, denial letter. Okay. I, we didn't get a copy of it. All right. Um, so that's it. So I don't know if you have any feedback on this, but. Um, yeah, safe and adequate. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an old subdivision right away. So what do you do? <coughs> well, you could ask for payment, you could ask for water. And, you know. Now, that, didn't they. I you can't make it wider, though. I think the right, the right of way is in a lot of those old. Um, areas were all 20 feet. But, um, these only show us 12 back there. I, yeah. I, I remember we, we had a, a long discussion about that. Yeah, this one only shows 12. I remember <coughs> that. And apparently, uh, legally, it, it qualifies. I mean, you know, right. because it was an existing subdivision. So. Right. But you can still ask for the road to be. Well, we, we have no, we really. We have to. <laughs> yeah. Whether we get it or not, he's know. put water already up to 28, right? Up to, uh, not up to. 21. 21? <coughs> Did we get 21 out of that one? I don't know. We got 20. You get it. Was that an 8-inch main or was that copper? Did you just I burn? Think it was an 8-inch main up to 20, I think, but I, I have to. Because, you know, that's what, that's what we'd be looking for, is, is water and improve the roadway mm -hmm. as much as we can by law. Do you want me to give that feedback that if it were to come for a determination of access, you would ask for those things? Yeah. Okay. So you support the building inspector? In the, if you, so the building inspector has not issued the building permit because it needs a determination about oh, absolutely. the possible roadway improvement. Yeah. So would you? Yes, we support the building. I, I, I shouldn't say that as 
talking for the board. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah says yes, and you support what the building inspector? On his oh yeah, yeah. Okay. He's just trying to do the right thing. He is. He is. He's, he is doing the right thing. <clears throat> yeah, I remember looking at a house up there in the middle of the winter, and oh, <laughs> not fun, huh? Not fun. Not fun. <laughs> so at least a roadway improvement for sure. Okay. It's one thing if there's not if there's like one or two houses, but if they keep building houses. They keep building more houses. It's going to well, be more traffic than that road. They keep building big houses, and then and then what used to be a small house with a single car now has three cars out in front of it. Yeah. That all those three cars got to get in and out, and that's mm -hmm. you know on twelve foot wide road. It's, it's and just and nine thing. times out of ten, those three cars leave that property every day. Yeah. At least once. At least once. It's one thing if you if you two people that live in a house and they own three cars. Mm. So, well, all right. Anything else, Daniel? No, I think the other discussions we have. Yeah, we should wait on those other discussions till we have a full a full board. We're not being pushed by anybody on those, so um, it would be. We just have to go through that discussion all over again if we do. I know, it's best to do so it's best to do it all at once. All right, when's our next? Uh? So September sixth is primary election. So two weeks September after that, right? One yes, will be our next regular meeting. The thirtieth? No. I'm sorry, wrong date. The twentieth. Okay. Anybody have anything? Uh, I do have some uh, news to help uh, forecast my availability. My wife is pregnant with our second uh, uh -oh. due in the beginning of November. Oh wow! And right now it's pretty much you know, you know, any day you know kind of <laughs> stuff. So it might be earlier than expected. So sh we should probably uh, do um, the same thing we did tonight. <laughs> A hybrid meeting. Well, it, it just so you could, you it, could. It certainly helps. Obviously, if if it's active, we don't want to hear from you. Right, right, <laughs> just right. well, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> let us know, but you don't have to be on the call that night. <laughs> if you're covering and just watching the other one, you know. <sighs> yeah, I would never. Oh, congratulations! Hear, I would never hear the end of that one if they have. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So it should be an exciting fall. <laughs> 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 oh God! It's all just like him, doesn't it? Oh jeez. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's all right. These, this too has to happen. Yeah. As long as you can just let me know if you, can, yeah. if you know ahead of time. No, absolutely. It helps yeah. because that way I can harass somebody else. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, she doesn't want to harass you unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> now that you've told us. Is that a special permit? Yeah, so we need four people for that. <coughs> did we did you did we talk to Dave and Ryan tonight or did he just not available? Uh, Ryan said that he had a he had a work dinner, I think, and Dave let me know he, he was on vacation or something. He had a concert. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, that's something we have to do. Interesting, because we thought they were gonna be here, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think yeah. But Dave got in touch right away um, the next day. The next day and told us. It. Yeah. I thought he was out of town. Dave was out of town. Then he might. Uh, he, I don't know. A, a commitment of some kind. Some other commitment was Let there. The yeah, day. that he had already committed to. <laughs> is, is Labor Day Monday? Yeah. It's coming Monday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's that quick, isn't it? Yeah, really. Yeah. September is like I, I plan for this summer too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What were those plans? <laughs> moved into her new class of daycare today and I spent about 45 minutes in the lobby with her as she threw a fit refusing to go into the new classroom oh no <laughs> uh, so she well the funny thing is her birthday is November 7th the due date for number two is November 5th Ooh. but the doctor is like he's, she's coming early so just be prepared she's coming early so. 
Second one, that's why. <laughs> yeah. does, does she know about baby yet? Yeah, we took her to the ultrasound. Yeah, that was really fun. She was just kind of, what do you say? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Thanks. Oh, yeah.